Good morning, my dear students. I am Padmini. I welcome you all to this class. So today we are going to learn a sentimental story, which is written by O. Hannity. And as we know, the these stories, or we can say, the stories written by O. Hannity are known for their surprise ending. So today we are going to learn a story that is the last. Students, art is a valuable asset and offers hope even in the most trying situations. It has the power, it has the power to heal the human spirit. So the last slip, the last slip, a sentimental story which is written by O. Hannity. It depicts the value of art and it saves a precious young life. Although the old artist sacrifices his own life. In the process, his masterpiece immortalizes him. Okay? The story Last Slave. The Last Slave story starts with the two girls, namely Sue and John C. They live together in a small flat. Both were artists. They resided on the third floor of an old house. Okay? So John C. John C. fell critically ill in November. She, saw, she suffered from pneumonia. As we know, pneumonia, pneumonia is a disease. Pneumonia is a disease when, which is caused due to the infection of the lungs. So John C. fell critically ill in November. She suffered from pneumonia and used to lie in her bed without moving. So she continuously gazed out of the window. She, her friend, became very worried. She called the doctor. Although the doctor came every day, yet Johnson's condition showed no improvement. So the doctor confirmed at last that Johnson was not willing to leave. As a result, the medicines were ineffective to cure her ill health. Okay, so in the first stanza, we can say that John C. fell critically ill. As we know that now the epidemic has come and that is COVID-19. So like that, at that time also, this pneumonia has come out as an epidemic. And most of the people were trying of it. And the same thing, John C. was affected by this, this pneumonia. Okay. Sue and John C. They were great friends. So Sue tried her greatest to make John C. take an interest in things around her. She talked about clothes. She talked about fashion. However, John C. was not responding anything. Only she continued to lie still on her bed. Sue brought her drawing board into the room and she started to paint something. Suddenly, she heard John C. whispering something. She speedily rushed to the bed and John C. was counting backward. And John C. was counting backward. Looking out of the window, she was counting and she was saying 12. She was saying 12. Okay? After some time, she whispered 11, then 10, then 9, then so on. She saw an old EV creeper climbing halfway up of the brick wall opposite to the window. Also, the creeper was setting its leaves in the strong wind due to cold weather. John C. was very depressed. She created a thought in her mind that she would die. She would die when the last leaf fell. Moreover, she did not accept the soup which was offered to her by John C. Okay? She, she would try to show affection towards John C. She told her that she would not die. She would not die. She kept the curtain open as she needed the light to complete her painting. She desired to fetch money for them, for both of them, by selling it. 
she pleaded jansi not to look out of the window because whenever she looked out of the window she was looking at the ev creeper and due to the cold weather and due to the strong wind the creeper also shedding its leaf she told she also told that john c you should not die you should not die because you have to leave for your friends moreover she would become lonely and she would telling that i would become lonely without john c but john c was sure that she should die as soon as the last leaf falls she added here that she should sleep after the last leaf falls and would sleep forever she was very worried about her friend about the condition of john c she was completely helpless then she rushed to the ground floor to seek help from a 60 year old painter his name was baharman baharman his long life dream was to paint a masterpiece and unfortunately it remained a dream for him so here we met with another character who is that character baharman baharman is also an old painter and his his aim was to make a masterpiece and was to paint a masterpiece okay so siu siu told the condition of his friend to baharman baharman is an old 60 years painter so she refused to eat and continuously looked outside the window she declares that she would not survive after the falling of the last leaf so here baharman condemned jansi for being silly however he agrees to paint the last leaf for jansi so that she would recover so next morning jansi woke up to her surprise the last leaf survived the storm and it was clinging to the creeper it survived another storm in the evening too okay clinging to the creeper and this uh, complete incident this opened the jansi's eyes she apologized to her friend for being so irresponsible and depressed she realized that it was a sin to think of death then she combed had some soup and decided to leave her life the doctor arrived he told about the improvement in her health he added that she would recover soon as her desire to leave was back so next morning she went to see baharman he was only 2 days ill however he dies of pneumonia contracted while being out in the wet and cold she tells her this news to jansi she tells her to look at the last leaf clinging to the creeper she reveals the truth that it was the masterpiece of the old artist that is baharman so here here baharman an old painter an old 60 year painter he always wanted to produce a masterpiece painting but he had never succeeded in his attempts but to help her recover to help jansi recover from her depression he spent considerable time painting with great realism a leaf on the wall thus he himself dies of pneumonia because he came contact while being out in the wet and cold but he saved a young painter's life that is jansi so the theme of the story this story the last leaf is based on the theme that life is precious and faith and hope should never be lost 
we come across many hindrances in life and this would be overcome by fighting back in high spirits. So depression can lead to disaster. So even when the situation is not bad, okay? Very often we found uh, people having a negative attitude towards life. They lost interest in life and these causes suffering to people surrounding them. They are even ready to lose their life as life has lost all meanings for them. The story tells the need to have a positive attitude towards life so that we can make it as fruitful as possible. So sacrificing our life for the sake of others is also a theme in this story and this is the main theme of this story. So painter, the 60 years old painter Baharman sacrifices his life for Jansi. Okay. Due to the storm, due to the cold and wet weather, the leaves of the Eevee Creeper are falling fast. Jansi, the sick girl who is uh, suffered from pneumonia, feels that she would die as soon as the last leaf would fall from the Eevee Creeper. One night, only one leaf remains on the Eevee. It would fall the same night. So at that time, the old artist Baharman decides to go out in the rain and paint an artificial leaf as soon as the last leaf falls. So since John C. Maxwell's life depends upon the last leaf, the title is appropriate here. The last leaf on the EV helps one person to survive but results in the death of another person. So what is the message of the story? So what kind of message we are getting from this story, this sentimental story, the last leaf? So we can say the chief message or the main message that the story gives us the spirit of sacrifice. We need, we need to have in our life. The old artist Baharman sacrificed his life so that John C. could live or survive. So in this process, he also achieved his ambition of painting, a masterpiece. So another message also we are getting here. The other message is that we should have a positive attitude in our life. Everybody should have a positive attitude in your life. So John C. was under depression and she felt her life was linked to the leaves on the heavy creeper. This prevented her from getting better from her illness. She was also causing harm to her friend, Shu. Had she adopted a positive attitude? Baharman would not have died. So our thinking and attitude affect the lives of other people so too. So that is the reason always be positive in your life. As we know that uh, like this story, most of the stories of O. Henry, it is based on humanity and love. So the conclusion of the story is very heart touching. The readers, means we all are happy that John C. restored back to her life. The chilly fingers of this pneumonia has merciful attempted her life. So we all are happy for John C. But at the same time, we all became very sad for the old painter Barman. Okay? So I hope my dear students, you have understood this sentimental story, The Last Slave, which is written by O'Hanley.